we want to do some crowd research for this potato growing question. Guten gardening everybody! I just looked through our YouTube channel and did a search for the term potato. And it turns out that between sweet potatoes and potatoes, we have over 100 videos on how to plant potatoes, how to grow potatoes, how certainly how to harvest potatoes, lots of nice up close examples of those videos. But there's a question we have not answered yet. And it's a question that came to us from our community and one we want to reach out to you, our community at large, to try to answer through your crowd participation. But before I introduce that question, I also have to say that today is day number 17 of our 31 days of Guten Gardening, Gardening Gift Giving. This series has been an absolute blast to film over the past month plus. You'll notice we're not doing a video every single day, but one of the things we've done in this series is to try to add some element of learning based on what we're doing here in either our indoor garden or even in our outdoor gardening so that you can enjoy more than just a giveaway video. And if you've been enjoying that, please give us a like. If you like today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That truly helps us out and supports this channel's growth. Well, in my hand, I have the topic of today's video. This is some of our red store-bought potatoes that we are turning into seedlings that we will later transplant. And these potatoes, almost all of them now have come up in seedling form from our store-boughts and we're still waiting on some of our purple Vikings to emerge. But potatoes are the topic and the question we wanna answer is about what happens as these get toward the end of their life cycle. Now, you know one of the things we absolutely love sharing about the process isn't just how we plant our potatoes, because we do talk about that process. We have plenty of content on the way we plant some of the different varieties of potatoes that we plant, like our purple magic molly potatoes, our Adirondack blue potatoes, our fingerling potatoes. So you know We've grown a lot of potatoes over the past couple of years. They haven't all been successful, but we've done a ton of experiments as well. One of our experiments from earlier in this season was to compare certified seed potatoes versus store-bought potatoes. We tried to grow them simultaneously to get a result. And that's a hint as to what we're going to ask you as a part of our community to do. But it's not focused on the type of seed potato. No, it's actually something different. Because you know, in addition to the joy of growing what I call a hidden crop, and what I mean by that is a root vegetable like potatoes or even like sweet potatoes where you can't really see what's going on beneath the surface up until the time of harvest unless you do a little experimental harvesting early on. One of the things you can see is what's happening above ground. And when it comes to potatoes in a lot of the growing zones, a lot of the climates, what you'll notice is as the potatoes grow, at some point, they develop flowers. What spurred today's video is a question asked in our community and actually asked multiple times, which was whether or not we pinch our flowers off to improve the size of the tubers that are developing below the surface. Well, here's one thing you should know. The flowers typically develop toward the end of the life cycle of the plant, oftentimes just a few weeks before the plant dies back, if you're in a growing zone like ours, in Zone 5, Wisconsin, where the plant will die back. And it's at that time that some people choose to pinch the flowers off of the potato plant. Again, because they believe that it's possible that that improves tuber development. Now, I've done some research into this. Actually, a California extension office through the University of California suggests that there's not much pruning that needs to be done to potato plants, but this site suggested that there may be a correlation to favorable tuber development because the plant can focus back on tuber growth rather than on the flowers themselves if the flowers are pinched off. And so we're gonna do some experiments with that in the upcoming season as a part of what we do here at Guten Gardening. But one experiment doesn't mean nearly as much as if we can get multiple members of our community to take part in this experiment and then make a pledge to report back the results 
to us. So what we're looking for is kind of a debunking or a proving mission when it comes to whether or not there are positive overall impacts in terms of the size and weight of our tubers if we do pinch the flowers off. And so what we would need from our community would be a few members who are willing, who grow potatoes, even those of you who haven't grown them before, if you're interested in doing this, we're looking for two grows. And these can be done simultaneously. They just need to be the same variety of potato planted in the same type of conditions. And so then what we would do is we would have one grown to maturity without pinching the flowers, the other grown to maturity while pinching the flowers. And we would ask for a couple of pieces of information around what you've planted, the amount in terms of weight, and then the weight of the harvest to compare the two. And if we can get several of our community members involved in this, then what we can try to do is to create some determination as to if there really is a positive impact of pinching off the flowers. Now, I'm really interested in this. Again, we've answered a whole bunch of questions over the last couple of years, but this is one we don't know the answer to because we have never pinched off the flowers for our potatoes and we've still had good success. But is it possible we're missing out on something here? So here's what we would ask from you, our community. Obviously, we want you to comment on this video regardless, especially to congratulate our winner for today's video or to ask for any clarification and questions. But if you're interested in taking part in our community research here, We'd love for you to leave a comment saying you'd be interested and then we'll reach out to you via email and we'll be more specific in what exactly we're looking for. I don't view this as being something that would be overly tedious. This could be as simple as having two different grow bags of potatoes, one where you pinch the flowers off as soon as they appear, the other one where you just let it go of the same variety. But again, we can be more specific about exactly what we want if you're interested. So if you're interested, leave a comment, then you'll get a comment back from us and an email from us telling you what we would need from you. We would love to have you there helping us solve this question. All right, I'm gonna interrupt this video to do our 17th giveaway in our 31 days of Guten Gardening, gardening gift giving. Once again, lots of you entered into today's giveaway. Remember, if you wanna be entered into the next giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video or on one of our community posts between now and the next video. And if you're located outside the U.S., just let us know in the comment. We'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and see what we're giving away today. Well, today's prize is going to be different from any prize we've given away so far because if you go down in the description of this video, you're going to see a link to all of the previous prizes we've given away so far in this series. And the winner today gets to pick the prize they want to take from there. That's right, you can pick any one of these prizes and we'll ship it to you. So whoever wins today, get ready to have a whole lot of options. Let's go ahead and see who day number 17's winner is. All right, 14 more prizes to go and our winner today is Julia Johnson McGee. Congratulations, Julia Johnson McGee. Folks, go ahead and congratulate the winner in the comments, but don't say their names so that they can be surprised when they see they've won. And Julia, when you see you've won, go ahead and comment on this video and we'll be in touch. We'll get your contact info to get this shipped out to you as quickly as possible. Thank you all once again for being part of this community. Let's get back to our video. It's one thing to be able to do some research about it. It's another thing to see it for ourselves and that's what we really want to do. So again, leave a comment if you're interested in participating. Leave a comment congratulating. Leave a comment with any questions. Your comments make a huge difference to us just like leaving those thumbs up. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you're interested and invested in this upcoming potato experiment. Congratulations once again to winner number 17. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.